Hey guys, Joe EC here, ready to make your audio life a little bit easier than it was before you saw this video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a super simple de for Audacity by the folks at The Muse Group. So stay tuned, check it out. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Now, the question you may be asking yourself is, what is sibilance? Well, sibilance is a lot of what I just did there. Anytime there's an S sound in your speech, there, just did it again, uh, that is called sibilance. And in a normal case, as we talk every day, we need that to actually understand words. But as we record things, as we do nar narrations inside of some long recording for an audiobook or uh, an explainer video or anything that we do, sometimes our microphones tend to pick up that frequency, that high frequency of s a little too much. And in some cases, we actually want to get rid of it. We, we don't want that to be sticking out so much that it can be grating to the listener's ear. So that's where a de -er comes in. A de -er takes those harsh grating frequencies that the microphone may pick up, and it reduces them to the level that we, in our ears, would like to have them reduced to. So let's go check it out. But first, we got to go find the tools to do that. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is make sure we get a nice, fresh, clean version of Audacity. If you've already got one installed, that's fine, but it's always good to keep updated with the latest version, so make sure you get an update. Uh, just go to Google, search for Audacity, uh, and this is the logo that you're looking for. You're looking for Audacity, uh, audacityteam.org. You can go this way and download it here. The thing that you're gonna want to do is get Audacity plus free effects and sample, which uses the Muse Hub installer. We're just going to go to another one real quick. So if you go to musehub.com, this is actually the parent company of Audacity. I think these guys bought Audacity or there's some kind of uh, joining that happened here not too long ago. And what you're going to want to do is, is just literally get the download for your system, whether you're Mac or Windows. Uh, and what that's going to do uh, is get you a, uh, a little icon up in the corner here. If you click on it here, you can go to home, and this is where you can go download Audacity. Click it on there, go download it, install it, do what you need to do. But when you're done installing that, go over to effects. Underneath effects, you can see all these really nifty new things. There are chorus, pitch fix, harmonize, and look at that, DS. All you're going to need to do here is mine's already downloaded, but in your case, click on get. It literally is, is, I'll do it here with Harmonize. Click Get, it downloads it, and then it installs it like that. That's how simple it is. Quite a bit easier than the last time we did this, right? So now that's installed, we're gonna go over to our Audacity and open it up. All right, now that we've downloaded Audacity and we have downloaded the de -er, let's go make sure that it made it into Audacity. Let's go to Effect. And then let's go down and you can see DS has made it there. Now, if it doesn't for some reason, I, I've, I've seen this happen a couple of times in the past for folks, just close out Audacity completely and then reopen it and chances are it's going to be there. So what, what we can also see in here is we see our old DSer. Let's just go take a look at that for a second. Uh, we'll select some audio and then we'll go take a look at it. So DSer, um, as you can see, this thing, this thing works really well. Well, really well, by the way. It's really customizable. You can make it work for you, your mic, or a different mic, or whatever you may have. Um, and you can fine tune this very well. Uh, I love it, and I use it on a regular basis. But not everybody needs as much customization as that. Uh, by the way, you can check a link in the description below for the video that I did that shows you how to use this thing. Um, but let's go back to our new de -er from Muse. Click on it. And as you can see, it's a lot simpler. It's a dial, it's up or down. And uh, they've also included a couple of different things here. Uh, so sibilance is the setting that we're on. They also have steel guitar, strings rosin, female voice, harshness, male voice. These are all uh, music type applications for the de -er. We're talking right now about voiceover, so we're gonna stick with sibilance. And we've got our audio that I've recorded uh, beforehand here. And let's go turn it right up to 
Well, look at that. It goes to 11. That's very handy. Um, let's turn it up to 11 and see what it does to our waveform. Notice anything? Let me go back and forward a couple of times. Look at just how much of the S frequencies that it just reduced out of there. Let's play these pieces of audio back to back so you can hear them now. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Can you tell that reduction? There's quite a bit of S reduction and it almost turned into kind of a lispy thing that we really, really don't want that for this piece of audio. So let's go back to the original. Let's actually tone it down to something a little bit more human. And let's apply, let's go right about just under half. And let's take a listen to that. So let's watch that waveform. Look at that. That's a lot better looking waveform. Those S's are not sticking out nearly as tall. That's not going to be nearly as harsh for the listener. And I'll go ahead and we'll do a back to back on this one too. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So there you have it. A DSer in Audacity for free again, uh, this time from the Muse Group. Pretty, pretty slick. Um, if you found this helpful, shoot me some notes in the comments. I love it. Give a like to this thing. Subscribe. I really want to do more of these videos. So tell me how effective was this for you in the comments below. And also, if you happen to have any other problems that you're trying to figure out with audio in Audacity, I would absolutely love to help out with those too. So describe your situation. Tell me exactly what you're dealing with, what you're having frustrations with. And I would love to see if I could come up with a solution for you using this free, amazing tool. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an awesome audio week doing some really cool stuff out there. And uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.